Today we are going to create scribble art. First of all, I want you to just throw away the idea that you need to be an artist or you need to have a certain talent or certain skills to be able to create art. That is not the case. I want you to just enjoy the journey of creating art and realize that it's more about the process and not the end product that counts. It's more of a art therapy or artsist therapy kind of thing. Um, I feel like this scribble art is a good is a good project for especially right now during these times we're staying at home, we're not with our friends, we're not going to school, we're not going anywhere. And you're probably feeling something. You're not quite sure what you're feeling, but you just know it doesn't feel good. Um, the scribble drawing and any type of art creating is a way to just communicate to yourself or to others what you might be feeling and thinking when you don't really have the words to do it. So first of all, we will start with a blank piece of paper. You, it can be a colored piece of paper. It can be a plain piece of white paper. It can be large. It can be small. Any size you want it to be. You can either choose crayons, markers, colored pencils, um, whatever kind of materials you have to be able to draw or color with. So the first thing I want you to do is just pick a color. You're going to pick a color. And I want you to close your eyes because this kind of makes it be more spontaneous and not as planned. And we'll just kind of just help it be more of something that's not planned out. So close your eyes and just create a big scribble on your paper. You might want to have a protective something underneath it so that you don't mark on any furniture. Alright, so you'll put your color down and just you'll see your scribble. Here's a, the scribble, just a scribble any way that you, however you did it. I want you to take your scribble and you can turn your paper different ways, different directions and just kind of look for something. I want you to look for um, an object, it can be letters, numbers, just anything that whatever you, whatever mood you're in, just kind of realize that. And you'll see something different in this every single time depending on your mood and what's going on. Um, so you'll do this today and you might see one thing in this exact same scribble you might see something else tomorrow. So it's going to be different every time you do this and your artwork will not look like anybody else's artwork. And I think in the end it will be something that you'll be proud to have. So when you turn around and you are finally settled on something that you feel like you see, I want you to get a different color than what you did your scribble with. And I want you to just kind of start to outline an image, whatever you feel like you see in it. If you don't see just one image and it's like a collection of images, or if you just want to take the different little sections that are in here that you've created within your scribble and just color them different colors, however you want to do this is great is just great. So I want you to start to kind of outline what your image, whatever you see. And like I said, depending on your circumstance, your mood, you'll see something different every single time. Um, one of my favorite examples is when I was in college and we did this in my art therapy class. It happened to be the fall of 2001 and it was right after the 9-11 attacks. Um, so my professor, she was doing this with us, and then everybody shared their stuff at the end. Well, hers ended up in it, she had a chair and a snake. And so through talking about it, you know, we all kind of felt like, hey, we felt like before this attack, we're just kind of complacent. You know, we're happy doing what we're doing. We're, we don't have to be on guard for anything. We're just taking life easy and going with the flow. And kind of like a snake just snuck up on us. And so, yeah, you might not realize you're feeling how you're feeling, but this can kind of help you, help you just kind of figure that out and, and communicate that. And then once you figure out 
what you're feeling. You can figure out what to do to make it better. If there's something that's not good, or it can just kind of help you figure things out. So you'll start to color in different sections of your image or your, the shapes, however you did this. And again, I want you to not feel like you have to have some type of skill level or that you have to be an artist to be able to do this or draw a perfect circle or a perfect scribble. There is no perfect scribble. Just start to color in different things. And there's no mistake, like you, you can't mess up on this. So even if you're coloring something and you're thinking, oh, I don't really like that there, or I want to add a line or another something to kind of outline my scribble that I drew. You start to color in one thing and you think, oh, wait a minute, I feel like I see this. And if you need to add a line somewhere in order to do that, you can do that if you need to. So just kind of, you can use as many different colors as you want. You can, you don't even have to use just crayons. You can use markers and crayons. You can use um, watercolors, pastels, whatever you want to do. You can even use di different shades of just the same color. Oops. If your crayon breaks, it's okay. It will still color. A broken crayon still colors. So just kind of keep turning it. You can even, you do a scribble. You can take your same scribble and you can ask anyone in your family or somebody else that might be in your home with you and they might see something completely different from what you saw and even after you finish your image and that will be just fine. And you might find, hey, I keep using the color green a lot. But green is my favorite color, so I kind of do tend to use more green than anything else. And I realize that, and sometimes if I'm thinking about it ahead of time, I will purposefully try not to use green. Um, so kind of here's what I have going on so far. I'm not really sure what it is yet, but this kind of spiky shape just really stuck out to me when I first looked at it. So just keep coloring, layering your colors. And like I said, if you start to see something else in it that you need to add to, do that. There, there's no right or wrong with this. There's no set in stone rules. It, that's the good thing about creating art. You just, you just kind of let it go. That's why it's more about the process than the end product so that you can just enjoy and figure out where it needs to go. So you just keep on working and coloring and adding and everything else. Um, here's a few end product examples just for um, this. I did this earlier and I know it looks more like a duck, but in my mind I felt like it was more of a beautiful swan kind of thing. So this. It doesn't really have any eyes. I didn't realize I didn't draw eyes until I started to look at it and was like, you know, I think that's how I'm feeling. I feel like I just want to relax, close my eyes, not have any worries, and just kind of go with the flow. However, however it goes, I feel like that's kind of really what I want to do. Um, here's another one. You might see different images. My daughter did this one earlier. 
And there's a lot of different images in her scribble drawing. Um, a dinosaur, a mouse, a snake, lizard. Um, you know, they're all animals. She did all animals. So, you know, maybe she just really, you know, loves animals or she kind of has that on her brain a lot. She did say, I feel kind of cluttered, like this is cluttery. So, if I told her, if you feel like, hey, you're cluttered, something you can do to help that would be to clean your room. So, if anybody's feeling cluttered, hey, clean up the space around you, the area around you, and just kind of, you won't feel as cluttered. Clean out some clutter. Um, or, like I said, you can take in and you can just color in different shapes, different colors that have been made between your scribbles. Outlining just the different, each little closed area that's created when the scribbles lines overlap each other. So just kind of color in different things. Whenever you're finished, you, depending on what you choose to do with it, um, um, this can look like a really, really good piece of artwork, some professional art. Um, so you can get it finished. If you do have construction paper, um, I always like to, if I'm going to map something on construction paper, I choose the color black just because I feel like it makes it look more um, professional and just kind of, it looks just a little more classy. I mean, you this looks really dressed up and you can have this frame matted, hang it on the wall and it's like, oh man, nobody else will have a piece of artwork like this in their house. Only you. And then you'll be thinking about, hey, I remember when I drew that. I remember what was going on. This was during the COVID-19 crisis when I was stuck inside all day. Um, so be sure to write your name and date. You can write it very tiny on the bottom. You can write it on the back. But yeah, that's a, that's a good thing to do just to make sure you write the date on there so you'll always know when you did create this. So today is April 21st, um, for anybody who may not know. And if you have glue, just glue it to your construction paper and get it hung up. But you can do this again. You can do a project like this every day, a small one, a large one. And like I said, if you used crayons this time, use something different next time. Um, whether it be markers, watercolor, or whatever. Um, so next week, let's come back together and create. We will make a butterfly stained glass. You will need a coffee filter, markers. It will have to be markers for this project. Crayons or colored pencils, pencils will not work. So you'll need markers, coffee filters, there will be a link provided if you choose to do a butterfly shape. I've made um, a butterfly template that you can print and cut out and trace on whatever color of your choice paper you want. Um, so we will be making a butterfly stained glass next week. So come back and create next week. See you then.